Hi Kingdom Kids, it's me, Pastor Angela. Thank you for joining me online. Let us finish our lesson series called Step Up. Last week we learned about Gideon and he stepped up when God chose him and Gideon followed God's crazy plan on how to win the war and they won. Today we are going to learn about a judge named Samson. Our Bible story today comes from the book of Judges chapters 13 and 16. You can pause this video and read from your Bible or your Bible app and of course you can follow along. I am going to read from God's Word for me. This is called The Lion Killer. <laughs> Samson was different from all the other boys. His dark curly hair grew down past his shoulders, and Samson was strong, stronger than any other boy. It was God who made Samson strong. It was God who said, Samson's hair must never be cut. It was the sign that Samson was God's strong man. The hair not being cut it was a rule for people specially dedicated to God who took the Nazarite vow. Samson's um, family was from, took the Nazarite vow. And when Samson was actually a baby, God told his parents, don't cut his hair because I'm choosing Samson to be the judge for my people. So he, even though he was, when he was still a boy, he was very strong and his hair was really long. One day, when Samson was out for a walk, he heard a great <laughs> Can you roar? Great. Good job. It was a lion. A fierce, wild lion. That lion might hurt someone, so Samson went looking for it. Would you go looking for a wild lion? I, not me. I wouldn't do that. But Samson did, and he found the lion, and Samson killed the lion with his two bare hands. God had made him so strong. And there's um, Samson fighting the lion. The people of Israel were, were in trouble. The people from the sea, called the Philistines, came sailing in and built cities of their own in the promised land. Remember, the promised land is God's promise to the Israelites, but the Philistines came in. The Philistines made God's people very unhappy. Help, help, please help us, they cried to God. What about your promise? God said to them. You have broken your promise to love me and live as I want. Yet now you are in trouble and you want me to help? So the Israelites, they stopped following God. Remember what I told you some time ago when we started our lesson series about the judges? So when there was a judge that God chose, the people lived in peace because they lived following God. But when the judge died, they stopped following God. Well, the people had stopped following God and the Philistines came and took over their land. So the people cried out to God. Do you think God's going to help them? God said, I will help because I still love you. So yes, God helped them. God chose Samson to rescue them. That was why God had made him so strong. So even before the Israelites asked God to send help, God had already chosen Samson and made him so strong. God would, had prepared Samson even before the Israelites prayed for help. Isn't that interesting? See, Samson was grown up now. He's not a little boy. He's a man now. His hair had never been cut. It was the sign that Samson was God's strong man. He began to make trouble for the Philistines. He wasn't a bit afraid of him. He was not afraid at all. So he was to make trouble for them. Samson was so strong that when they tied him up, he broke the ropes. When they shut him in, he tore down the doors and carried them off. Samson made big trouble for the 
Philistines, though they tried and tried to catch him. Let's see what happens to Samson. What makes you so strong? asked beautiful Delilah one day. You can tell me your secret. I won't tell anyone. Delilah was actually helping the Philistines to catch Samson. She asked and asked till at last he said, I won't be strong if my hair is cut. Then the Philistines came and <clears throat> cut his hair. So there's Delilah. See, Delilah pretended that she loved Samson. And Samson, she, he, um, he fell for it. But at first, Samson would tell Delilah, Oh, if you tie me up in ropes, I can escape. But that didn't happen. So Delilah was like, If you love me, you tell me. And finally, finally, because she kept insisting, Samson told her that if they cut his hair off, and they're cutting his hair off, he won't be strong anymore. And that's what Delilah told the Philistines to do. Samson was not God's strong man anymore. They put him in prison. But Samson told God how sorry he was. And God made Samson strong again. One last time. Samson made trouble for the Philistines in a big, big way. He pulled a huge building down on top of himself and all the people inside. So they actually chained up Samson between two pillars in the building. And he prayed to God one last time, God, make me be strong one last time so I can defeat the Philistines and help the Israelites, your people. And God said, yes, one last time. And Samson pulled down the building on top of himself and everyone inside. Whoa. God chose... God chose Samson to be a judge when he was just a little boy. When he was a baby, he told God told his parents, Samson's parents, don't cut his hair. And as long as Samson's hair was not cut, God continued to make him strong. Do you know that God chose you also? The Bible says that God knew us, knew you and me before we were even born and that God has a special plan for every one of us. All we have to do is follow God's plans. For a long time, Samson followed God's plan. He didn't cut his hair and he didn't tell anyone about it. But then he made a mistake. God, um, Samson made a huge mistake and told Delilah that his strength comes from his hair from God. So when Delilah had his hair cut, Samson stopped being strong. Have you ever made a big mistake? We make big mistakes, huh? And th those mistakes can get us in big trouble. No, the amazing thing about God is he forgives us if we say sorry. So when Samson prayed to God and he said sorry to God and prayed that God make him strong one last time, God did it. God forgave Samson and made him strong one last time so that he can help the Israelites. And when we make mistakes and we get in trouble, we can also pray like Samson and we can ask God to forgive us and ask God to help us do better. Do you think God will forgive us if we pray and ask Him? Yeah, of course He will. Do you remember our Bible memory verse? Our Bible memory verse says, <clears throat> Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. 1 Timothy 4.12 Okay. It is your turn to say it all by yourself. Ready? Go. Very good. Good job. 
I hope you keep remembering that Bible memory verse so that you will always remember that God chose you like he chose Samson. He chose you to be a leader for his people and you can be a good leader, a good role model in how you talk, how you act, how you love other people, how you follow God, and how you live. Our memory verse tells us that we need to set an example. We need to be a good role model. So if we make a mistake, we can apologize and ask God to forgive us. That's part of being a good role model. Part of being a good leader is knowing when we make a mistake and knowing how to say I'm sorry to the people we hurt and how to say I'm sorry to God. And then doing better next time. So we can be a good example if we do that. So here's your challenge. Your challenge is to step up. And be a good example to other people in how you talk, how you act, how you love others, how you follow God, and how you live. And in that means if you make a mistake, apologize and ask forgiveness from God and do better. So I hope that you take this challenge, not just this month, but for all the months and all the days and all the years to come. That even though you're young, God still chose you to be a leader for Him. And you can be a good leader for God. You can be a good example to other people. In, like our Bible memory verse says, in conduct, in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Hey, let's pray together. God, Thank you for choosing us even before we were born. Thank you for having a plan for us, for our lives. Please help us follow your plans. Please help us to be a good example to other people, to be a good leader for you. We also lift up to you our world. We pray that you continue healing our world. And we thank you that you are always with us and that you help us become good um, leaders for you. You help us to step up for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey, remember, God chose you to step up and be a good leader for Him and for other people. I hope you have a wonderful week. God bless you and I will see you online.